Hi everyone, welcome back to Mr. Andy's class, learning English, okay? Now, we will learn about a new topic about past continuous or past progressive tense, yeah? Uh, you know that previous video, we have learned about present continuous tense, now we focus about past. You know that past is about something already over, right? Yes, yeah, we will learn about the definition, the formula, and while, when, and as soon as. Okay, you know the definition of past continuous tense in here to talk about actions in progress at a certain time in the past. Remember, a certain time in the past. For example, Sumi was living in New York City in 2003. And then the second definition is about to show that one action happened when another action was in progress. Remember, one action happened when another action in progress. For example, I was taking a shower when you call. Yeah, this one is one action happened. And also in here, another action was in progress. Okay, next. The third definition is about to talk about two actions that were in progress at the same time. For example, I was listening to the music while I was cooking dinner. Here, using while and when for the second definition. Next, we are going to the formula. In the formula, positive sentence, you can use subject plus to be, verb plus ing. To be in here, this is was and were. Was subject, you can match for I, he, she, it. But where you can use you, we, they plus verb ing. Verb one. For example, I was presenting my project. Yeah. Or example, you were living in Singapore. Blah, 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 blah. That's for positive. Next. For negative statement or sentence, we can say in here. Yeah, same like to be is was, were, was in here using I, you, oh no, I, he, she, it, were, is, you, we, they, and you, etc. plus not, plus verb one, plus ing. Example, I was not doing anything. Or you were living, you were not living in Singapore. In Singapore. Okay? That's for negative one. Next. For interrogative, you know, interrogative is asking. It's about asking. That's why there is question mark in here. You put to be in front of the sentence. Was and were. Subject for was, yeah, same like I, he, she, it, were, you, we, they, etc. Plus verb, verb one plus ing. And don't forget using question mark. For example, was she watching a movie? Yes. So if there are any question like this, the answer will be yes, she was. No, she wasn't or she was not. Okay? Okay, let's take a look about where. Were you eating? Okay. Yeah, you can answer yes. I wasn't. Uh, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay, next. 
So let's take a look about WH question. In here, WH question, you know that what, why, who, where, when, uh, what else? I forgot. What, why, who, when, where, and etc. Yeah, you can try to get another WH question. Plus to be, yeah, to be in here. Uh, do you have to watch? Uh, we have to match with the subject. Yeah, was, were. Yeah, for example, what were you doing? Yesterday. Okay. Or why were you doing that? Question mark. That's for WH. Yeah. If there are any like WH question, the answer must be complete answer, not yes no answer. Okay. Okay, next, let's take a look about why, when, as soon as. So, why we need to learn about this one? Because sometimes in the simple, uh, in the past progressive tense, yeah, they cannot stand alone. Yeah, it's not when you make one sentence using uh, past tense, you will not get it the meaning. Yeah, you will not get the meaning. So, for example, we can take a look why. So in here, while you use while is for indicates an action that follows is in progress. Therefore, information while always followed by the form of past continuous tense. Yeah, always followed by past continuous tense. This is in Bahasa. Yeah. For example, yeah, while she was getting ready for for work, her baby fell from bed. There were, there are two actions in progress. Ya, ada dua kejadian yang sedang terjadi. Ya, ada dalam dalam progress ya. The first one, while she was getting ready to work, ya, her baby fell from bed. Okay, that's about why. Next, when. In here, when indicates an action that occur at a specific time. Specific time. Ya, therefore, it's generally followed by simple from form of past tense. Ya. Can take a look. When my neighbor rang the bell, I opened the door. When my neighbor rang the bell, I opened the door. Yeah. Okay. Next. As soon as. So as soon as in here, guys. Same as when, but has more meaning. Like immediately after. In Bahasa Indonesia, said segera setelah. Yeah. Generally followed by a simple past tense form. Yeah. Example, yeah, generally past form. Yeah, example. As soon as she found out that her baby fell, she put her baby back to bed. Yeah. Sesegera mungkin, segera setelah dia tahu atau menemukan bayinya itu jatuh, dia meletakkan atau menempatkan bayinya di, uh, menempatkan kembali bayinya di kasur tempat tidur. Yeah. So if you put like this, as soon as she found out the her baby fell, only this one. There is no meaning. Oh, what is this? Got the got artinya, yeah. So that's, so that's why you put past form in here. Okay. So thank you so much for your attention, guys. That's about past progressive tense or past continuous tense. Uh, remember that it's happening. There are two actions are uh, happening in the progress. Remember about that one. If you have any question, just let me know. And I hope that you can explore more and give it to me. I learn, you learn, we all together learn. Thank you so much, everyone. Keep learning, keep fighting. God bless you all. Bye-bye.